But in the playoffs, they've been failing to get it done. And one of the biggest reasons why this is, is because Patrick Laine has not exactly been the playoff player that Winnipeg would have expected. In so far, in his 42 games in the playoffs, no, actually his 24 games in the playoffs in the NHL, he has scored 16 points. Again, that's pretty good for a second liner. But this is Patrick Laine. This is the same player who was supposed to be Alex Ovechkin. This is the same player who scored seven goals in seven games in the World Junior Championships in 2016. This is the same player who scored 44 goals in 2017. And this is the same player that now fails to get it done in 2018. And in 2019, he had amazing teammates. His teammates do a lot for him. But it's about time that Patrick Laine does something for his teammates. And so, for those reasons, this is the debacle of Patrick Laine. He's a streaky scorer who has let his ego control him and not his play talk to the league and rather his ego and what he thinks about himself by saying, you know, stuff like criticizing his teammates, actively being unhappy with Winnipeg despite being a playoff team, actively asking for a trade. And this is where the trade rumors escalate because now Patrick Line is slated to be traded, but I don't think he should be. I think he should be able to fit in Winnipeg. We'll see what this season provides for Patrick Laine and if he can finally establish that he is an actual player worthy of being a successor, worthy of being a terrific goal scorer, and worthy of being a player. Obviously not to Ovechkin's caliber, but a really good scorer nevertheless. He was also compared to another Finnish legend, Timo Selene. But Patrick Laine, I think it's time for you to put aside your ego and play for the team, and then we'll see how it goes. But thanks for watching my first NHL player uh, discussion, and thank you so much for listening. If you made it all the way to the end, don't forget to subscribe, uh, hit the like button, and hit the bell, the bell notifications for any future videos. I'm sure that you will also enjoy my franchise mode series in Seattle, so please make sure to check it out. Thank you.